CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Oh, I'm enjoying it, to be totally honest. It's been a while since I've actually stood in the in the nets like I am today watching the guys bat. And it was um, well, it was good fun to, to do a bit of catching with the guys earlier today because it's it's something I've been very passionate about when I played and, and also now as a commentator. I, I think the catching is such a big part of Test Match Cricket that I was delighted when Michael Clark asked me to come down and, and add my thoughts. The guys catch well. They don't need me to teach them how to catch. It's more just about positioning in the slips. I think it's something that over the last probably 10 years has slipped a bit in the game, that, that real desire to want to become a first or a second slipper and take that catch that changes the game. And the only way you do that is by obviously practising it um, and working uh, well with the guys who are going to stand out there next year. So Shane Watson at first slip, Michael Clark at, seven, at second and obviously Brad Haddon keeping you get a bit of a combination going, and it's important that you practice that combination so you get it right for the match. God, I'm really hopeful we're in for a very good summer. Um, I think the Australian side is, is more relaxed uh, and probably better prepared now than they were six months ago when they had a bit of trouble leading into the first test match at Trent Bridge. So I think the side's calm. I think they're eager. Um, uh, they seem fairly relaxed though and having a bit of fun, which I think is important, and they're ready to go. And I think you probably say the same thing about the England side. So I think both sides' preparation has been good and fingers crossed we're in for a pretty hard fought series. Uh, there's such a big build up these days to, to Ashes test matches that things can get away a little bit, but I, they seem, as I said, relaxed and, and fairly calm to me. So make sure you just give yourself the best chance you can on day one to play your best cricket. That's the first thing you've got to do. Um, secondly, as I said a moment ago, enjoy it. Enjoy the fact that you're playing test cricket for your country. Um, and I think if they do those two things, they'll play at their best and they'll give England a damn good run. Uh, standing here watching Mitch and Rhino and Peter Siddle run in, a few balls coming up through here, I'm thinking here's a nice spot to stand actually. 